Now, Albert Einstein had a quote. He said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. This is important information. The biggest thing that always troubled me was my imagination. Because it was so big when I was a kid. You know, I grew up poor, but I was always imagining stuff. You know, my mama, once a month, would buy a travel magazine at the grocery store. My father used to be so pissed off. Bill, why are we spending this money? We ain't got, we were poor. She said, Slick, we ain't got no money to take this boy nowhere. But if he can look in these magazines, maybe one day, it'll, it'll, it'll cause him to want to travel. I've been to so many countries around the world because of that magazine. I just wanted to go see stuff. My mama had enough sense to plant that seed in me. It's like at Christmas time, we used to get in the car and my daddy used to take us to the suburbs so we could see the lights. And you know, we just drove around the lights. And I, could, I was amazed at the suburbs because I would see these big houses with horseshoe driveways where you drove in and came out the other side. So I told my daddy one time we was riding, I said, Daddy, why don't we get one of them houses? He said, boy, I ain't got no money for that, but that's what I'm bringing you out here for. She said, one day you'll be able to get one of them houses. Let me explain something to you. Because of that right there, I've probably had in my lifetime now about 11 homes. I got four now in different states. Every house I own got a horseshoe driveway. When they was living, they told me one time, they was sitting up watching TV. My daddy looked at my mama and said, Bill, he called my mama Bill and said, can you believe that this little boy we had on TV? She said, Slick, I can't believe this. I used to send my daddy $5,000 a week. You know, when I first got on TV, I was making $55,000 a week, so I sent my mama them $5,000 a week. When I got into Kings of Comedy, my father was still living. I showed my daddy one time how much money I made. He said, boy, it take me four years to make this kind of money. So I was able to give them something with my life. So before my mom and them left this world, I could give them something. I bought them everything, man, houses, cars, furniture. I bought them everything I could think of. I tried. <laughs> and you know what's crazy, man? I'm 62 years old. I still want them to be proud of me. I'm still hoping that they in heaven watching me. And they see me and turn into something. That's all I ever wanted. It was in my imagination to take care of them. You just got to believe that. You just got to believe, man. Don't ever give up. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. All faith is, really, the substance of it is just what you hope for. That's all faith is. It's just real hard hoping. You remember when you was little and you said, I hope I get a bike for Christmas? And you went out there one year and a bike was under the tree? You remember when you said you hope you graduate and you mess around and got a diploma? <laughs> Didn't you remember when you said you hope you get a job and you mess around and you got a job? Huh? At one point in time, the older you get, this got to start clicking in. That faith is really the substance of things hoped for. That if you hope hard enough, one day you ought to get smart and turn all that hoping into belief. And what is belief? Nothing but faith. And what is faith? Faith is belief in things that you cannot see. See, this what the part you got to get. The evidence of things not seen. Remember I told you that imagination is everything? It's the preview to life's coming attraction. Man, do you know, but do you, Lord, now let me tell you the problem with your imagination. The problem with your imagination is you tell it to the wrong people. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. You went and you shared it with your family and friends. You know what they did? They shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. See, your mama and them, your cousin and them, your friends, they don't know. See, you got to be careful when you share your imagination with small-minded people. 
nobody else can see your imagination but you.